Toyota presents Fish TV in high definition. Brought to you by Mercury, the Bellas, world's foremost outfitter. Rapala, crafted from experience. With your host, Leo Stockos, Ron James, and Jeff Chizzo. We haven't even got the rods out, and things are already going berserk. Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stackles. I'm Rod James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. I'll tell you what, we had so much fun last year with Jeremy, we had to come back out here again. And like Jeremy says, every time we come, look at the weather. You could not ask for better weather, eh, Jeremy? It's unheard of that it gets this calm out here. That's a lot. Beautiful. Great way to start the day. Yeah, no kidding, eh? Keep that rod at 45 degrees and just ski him in. You remembered from last year. I remember it, buddy. Yeah, good job, Leo. What a way to get her going. Good start. Awesome. Oh, good good start. job, boss. Nice chunky fish. Look at that right there, guys. That's the way to start it off right there. Yes, awesome. nice. Beautiful. Beauty. And that and that's a perfect eating size right that there. Is, yeah. In fact, perfect. it's such a good eating size. That's what the, that boat's doing back exactly. there. Exactly. So this is what we call a number one. Those are the fish that the commercial guys want the most. If you look right. just in the background outside our planer board. It's the commercial boat, so he's in here catching those same fish that we're targeting. Look at that. Well, let's yeah. get him before he does. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> get this guy into the live well, and there you go. Oh, here, we're marking another one here. That's our cannonball down there we're marking. That's a fish. That's probably a smaller fish, but we marked a couple of really good ones as we went through there, and that's when Leo got that fish. So. No, mark a few more. Yeah, I'm working on it. Mark? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, we're right on the mark. You know, you keep referring to the steelhead as, as wise guys. Yes. <laughs> Why do you call them a wise guy? <laughs> well, the reality of it is, is they get in the cold water here on Lake Erie, especially the time of year we're fishing here, and they are absolutely crazy, insane fighting fish. Yeah. So you're lucky to go about 60% on the day success rate. Like if I can go 60% with my customers, that's Take a great day. Well, right. the other 40% we lose, I call wise guys, they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> they're wise guys. They're wise. <laughs> they're wise. This appears to be a nice walleye on the seven cord, Jeff. Yeah. Look how nice and consistent that board comes in. Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. So you know what, I'm not very good at bringing boards in, I get it. <laughs> You're pretty good at bringing fish in. Yes, he is. Hey, I'd rather bring fish in than a board anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so what I tell my customers when they're fighting fish, if you notice, Jeff's just got a nice bend on the rod, just that constant pressure, okay? The more that rod jerks around, the better the chances that the hook will work its way out of the fish. But what if, what if it's a jerk reeling it in? <laughs> You're on your own. Man. Yeah, the other thing, even just in your reeling motions, keeping it smooth. Exactly. Yeah. See how he's making nice, clean circles? And the other thing is, uh, a lot of. Are you to say that Ron and I don't bring I'm it in? I'm not smooth criticizing today. anybody. <laughs> Buddy, set the hook on that one. No! <laughs> <laughs> Too many bass fishermen on this boat. I'm glad we got a troller out <laughs> It appears to be fighting like a you walleye. Know, but another I one. Hear, I feel walleye head shakes, that's for sure. Walleye head shakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they get, it's definitive. So then, how come his mouth is not open and being skied in? Sometimes they stay down. He's staying really? down. Uh, I personally think that uh, neither one of these two know what they're talking about. <laughs> and they probably have a sheep's head on there. That oh. may be the Typically, oh. a bigger fish will stay down. I'm going like to go that. with walleye. Especially but if you slow the boat down. Like I have morning. been wrong before. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. OK, once. <laughs> once. Well, that's a steelhead, buddies. It's a steely. Oh, it is. It's just... oh nice yeah. steelhead, too. Uh, yeah. You got me. So me. that's the second time you did wrong. <laughs> you did twice though. now. Didn't jump. Now he jumps. Nice oh, steel. Nice. 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 Wow. Good job, Jeff. He's got some red to it. Yeah. Beautiful colors on that. Awesome. 
We got another fish marking on the screen no here. No jumping so. at all. How do you like that? He's a little lazy. The water's a little warmer over here. Now you would think the warmer the water, the more they would jump. And a little lethargic. Nice That's pink. nice. Wow. See yeah, the pink hue here on the cheek? Starting yeah. to uh, get them colors, those rainbow colors, eh? That is beautiful. beautiful. Ready to go to the box. Good job, Jeff. Good job, buddy. Oh, big stealing. Nice. <laughs> nice. Did you see him jump? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at look 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 at him swimming. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Ron. Nice. Oh, awesome. Look at now he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Ron. Wow. On that yellow tail. That Holy. was fast, eh? Yeah. Really fast. Okay. And we're literally a hundred yards off a commercial net. Yeah. Yes. But you brought up a good point though, Jeremy. You get you have to know what you're doing out here. You notice those flags right away. Yes. We, we, you know, and you told Jeff right away to turn to the starboard side. As soon as we turned, we took a fish. Yeah. Like so Jeff. You, so you know what he's doing here. You got it. Actually, they don't target the steelhead, but uh, he's in there targeting those small walleyes that we had there. There we go. Beautiful. Do that. Right at, right at the back of the boat, bud. Like right there. I'm just gonna get him in the box. There you go, Jeffrey. That's a fish there, buddy. Oh yeah. There you go, man. Oh. So if you're fishing with buddies that are lazy and don't want to get off, yeah. what you gotta do is keep keep your rod tip forward. And uh as you can see, we're, we're, we're actually on. quite comfortable. Oh, he's on there. He's there. No, oh, look at him. Oh, he's on there. Look at this. Let's help him, guys. No, all, look, all of a sudden, so everybody jumps up. You just want to keep pressure like that. Now we're and you're backwards. good to go. You can do this alone, you know. No kidding. <laughs> oh, good one. All of a sudden, he's got our attention. Yeah, everybody jumps up. I, know, I lost the fish. Nobody cared. Okay, why uh, is that fish jumping behind the boat? <laughs> See, now, all it takes is a little bit of schooling. I showed Jeff how to reel that in. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Here we go. As good we, job, Jeff. As we sat here and watched him. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? When somebody tells us they lose a fish, we're not getting up. I'm not no, getting up. No, no. Even Jeremy didn't even get no, up. I how do you like them apples? Yeah. Tasty one right there, I think. Oh, yeah. Man. It's time for the Old Milwaukee Tip of the Week. Hey, guys, Leo Stockos here with your Tip of the Week. You know, I was going to do the Tip of the Week this week on downriggers, but you know what? What better guy to have a tip on downriggers than the downrigging man himself, Jeremy Brooks from Trophy Taker. Jeremy, walk us through this little tip you got for us. Gladly. People have to understand when your cannonball's at the top of the surface, you actually want your digital counter at about minus two. And I'll show you why. We have the, the uh, monofilament line from the downrigger rod set up. When I drop that cannonball down with that Scotty release, that's where the line's just starting to hit the water. The counter reads zero. If you zero your digital counter to where the cannonball touches the water, you're actually gonna be two feet above it. So you wanna zero your counter as soon as your line hits the water like that. So you know? now you're actually doing it exactly and keeping it accurate. Exactly. Well, there you have it, guys. Next time you're out here and you're downrigging, Zero that counter out, especially if it's important to be 10, 20, 30 feet. You want that exact number. Try this method. I'm sure you'll catch more fish just like we did today. Look, 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 look at this. There, see them land on the rod? That is awesome. They will this time of year. Look, at, look, he's going to land he's getting on my tired. head. White, right there. Who's up? I am. Now that's oh, you fish. took my silver bass. That's why he's up. <laughs> well, Jeff burned me earlier. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. There we go. Now we're marking. He just him. came right up to the shirt. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, too. Nice huh? walleye. Wow. Really nice. That's a chunker there. Look at that North Coast rod bend, Jeff. I, I love it. Oh, I my. love it. When you told us there last year to order those things, yeah. I, I was like, are you sure? Yeah. And then I, yeah. as soon as I fought the first fish on it. Yeah. Wow. They're very forgiving. Nice walleye. Nice fish, Leo. Yep. That's a beauty awesome. there, man. Look at him. Get him. <laughs> Look at that, man. Look at this thing. That's yeah. a nice He's a chunk, man. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's a giant, buddy. What are you kidding me? Barely hooked, too. Look at the hook you're hanging. Get him, get him, get him. man. Scoop him. Get him, get him. <laughs> oh, no. Good job. Yeah. Right. Look at the size of that fish. Wow. That is was a big that walleye, walleye, buddy. Ah, nice. That should have been my fish. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a walleye right there, guys? A nice man. fish, man. Woo. 
Look at the back of the tail. No, it says look at RJ the width. on it. <laughs> look at the width of that thing. Look at that. How would you like that thing on a, on a, on a rip and jiggle? We got a dipsy nice. fish right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. He's a wide guy. He's a wide guy. Oh, oh, he's on the surface. Here, he's on the surface. I thought it was on the rigger. Look at him quartering out there, Jeff. That's cool. Beautiful. <laughs> nice fish. Oh. Oh, awesome. nice fish. Giant. That what is, is so... with you guys today? <laughs> <laughs> Holy big walleye, uh, big steelhead. That's how you, what you get on big water is big wow. fish. Wow. Exactly. That's, a, that's a, one of those skinnier screens here. It's not really yeah. like a football. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was nice missing hand. one fin, too. That's why, yeah. Yep. Is it really? Now, is that a clip? That's a clip. That's a clip. Yeah. Yep. They, they clipped yeah. that one, it's okay? It's a stock. Yep. To yeah. identify yeah. where it's from. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I wonder if that throws the balance off on the fish. Well, he, he hit that he hit that lure pretty good. <laughs> Loving it. All right, I'm up. It's just like we left off a year ago, boys. Portions of Fish TV are brought to you by Sylvania Automotive Lighting. Do you want to see better while driving at night? Nice fish, man. Come on, buddy. Okay, buddy. What is it? You Silver know bass. what it is. Yeah, baby. You give me the rod. Silver That's a song. Bass. Silver bass, <laughs> that's all Ron's gonna catch today. <laughs> Look, I got, got two, of two of them. I got a double header. Double okay, <laughs> that, 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 that will give you then. That's good. <laughs> I've never seen a double header uh, one yet. I really don't There's care. One. There's There's one. Nothing to be proud of. Look at this. Two. <laughs> I don't care what they are. I'm a fisherman. And you're gonna lip them. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna lip them. There they go. That's wicked. There you go, Ronnie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, Rick, fish, fish, fish. On the turn. This is not a silver bass. Why? Oh, I recognize those cheek plates. Beautiful. Well, we just made a turn going back into where we were getting those fish. We got into a flurry of silver bass. They're all over the place. Well, we can actually see them jumping on the surface. Yeah, so Excellent. we're going to make a turn. We came about a quarter of a mile out of our way, so now we're going to go back. Small Maybe a little walleye. That's a good eater yeah, right there. Yeah, number one. Look at that little guy. See that side? Let me see the other side. Yeah. That That's... looks like two fillets to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are the tasty ones right there, that's for sure. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat this great sandwich from Molly and OJ. <laughs> I don't know. This well, Jeff like brings one, this fishing. I love how those boards pull the slide oh. core line so well. Crazy, those you know, new bigger offshores. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just beauty. Big eye or steely? Well, I started out the fight thinking big eye. Now the head shakes are, have changed a little bit. So I'm going to actually <laughs> switch my original thought process. You need to be right for one today. You're 0 for 2 right now. You're thinking <laughs> steely? 0 for 2, 0 for 1. It's the second time in my life I was wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the last time Jeremy said I could see it, it's a silver bass, it was a steely, so I don't know. Yeah, Jeff's been wrong twice in his life, I've been wrong once. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Jeff. That's why we make a good pair. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice job on that fish. That lead core's been good here the last couple hours, eh, Jeff? The proof's in the pudding. Yeah, fish, you got fish that after right. Fish. That's a healthy fish. Oh, yeah. Reel them in with the right tools from the Toyota Tackle Box. Hey, listen, let's take a minute of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. Tell the folks what we're using. Exactly. This is a Dipsy Diver, a 001 size Dipsy Diver. It has a two ounce lead weight in the bottom that's a keel weight that actually takes it down and away from the boat. So not only does it act like a flasher, yeah, but yeah. it's also a diver, right, Jeff? That's great. And you can adjust this uh, to make it plane away from the boat. You can either have it a very aggressive plane or make it plane out farther so you can actually use multiple Dipsies off one side of the boat too. Is that correct? That's correct. I typically match the color of the Dipsy the similar color of the lure. Let's say it's on fire. Let's get back to that fish TV action. Get her back down the water. You bet. Oh, Ew, I thought you were going to get a little one. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I promised you that I would, but I lied. Uh, I, I know, perfect. Look at this. Look at him. Oh, look, oh, he's off. Oh. Did that jump and that was it. He gone. What happened? He picked up his phone again <laughs> yeah. to post something for you guys <laughs> yeah. again. And he said, I'll pick up my phone and I'll get, we'll get a fish. We're going to get another one here, so just hang tight. Yeah. Stay tuned to our Instagram and social media, Facebook, Twitter.
because eventually <laughs> we'll get a fish picture. Yeah, when we're on shore, there's no fit rods in the water. Yeah, because as soon as I touch this phone, the rods fire. It's Why coming up. It's coming up. Silver bass. It looked like a oh, steel fish. Oh, isn't that a shame, Leo? <laughs> fish on, fish on. Oh, there we go. It was up. Jeff's up. Oh, here we go. There you go, Jeffrey. Uh, that's the wrong rod. <laughs> How about trying that one with bending? <laughs> there you go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. <laughs> Perfect. That's the wrong rod. If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at, eh, Leo? <laughs> you know what? On Lake Erie, that's the wrong rod. there's nothing wrong with that. On Lake Erie, you're around to run two rods per person. We're mm -hmm. running a 10 rod spread. If you're not that familiar with what rod went, you know, sometimes that happens. I get all customers doing that all the time. All the rest of us in the boat want to know what rod it was. Yeah. <laughs> trying to cut Leo a break, Ron, sorry. Yeah, right fish, there, fish, rigger, 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 Powerful fish, I'll tell you though. How'd your fish? Well, uh, you knocked it off. I knocked it off. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, no love for Leo. All I ever get is abused on Fish TV here. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. As long as you stay here with Fish TV, you're going to get calm weather. <laughs> we got a jumper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Follow a flight plan. There we go. Oh, nice. nice. We have air traffic. <laughs> we got another one way back out on the, on the far board. Yeah, I just saw one jumping out there. There's Keep another one. On. Top one, wide guy. Way up, way up, way up. Keep running, get up here. Get him, get him, get it out of there, bud. There's another oh, one. There you go. Bubble. There we go. Okay. All, All right, right, now we're safe. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jump. Grab Massive my board, grab my board. I got him, I got him. Massive jump. He's got to come up again. That fish there he is! Oh, yeah. Massive. Oh. It's unbelievable. Well, I'm just going to keep this. Oh, oh, there he is! Oh, my God! Oh. <laughs> That's beauty. That fish was acrobatic, That's a man. big one there. Nice. That fish oh, must have jumped so many times. Good job, nice. Leo. There we go, buddy. Nice job, Leo. Oh. Woo! You got the big one. I got the little one, Leo. <laughs> That's just my typical day today. <laughs> but they're all good eating anyway. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that fish at all. Double header, baby. Oh, yeah. Good job. Nice. I don't think we've ever been here and not got a double or a triple. Uh, you know what? There, well, that's what I'm in fact, for. I think at one point we were here, we got four fish in a row. Yeah. So I'm going to give these guys a head. I'm going to put this guy back in the live well. For those of you that are thinking of taking up fishing or even considering it, go out with a friend. Go out with somebody who, who likes fishing. I guarantee you, by the end of the day, the camaraderie, the experience that you're going to have, whether you catch fish or not, you can't beat this. How about you go out with a guy named Jeremy Brooks yeah. <laughs> so you can catch fish? And not only that, <laughs> pay attention. When you go on a charter with a guy like Jeremy, you can learn so much. Yeah. So much. So you're saying, are you stealing small information from yeah. Jeremy? Then I picked up a couple of tricks off Jeremy. Well, it is a small steelhead. Triple header. Yeah, it a was a triple. I told you it was a small steel. Yeah, it was were. a triple. Oh, you told us. I did so. In fact, <laughs> I think John Jeff filmed. was the first one that said that. Ronnie, get us back on these fish, buddy. I'm trying, bud. I, I, I haven't even got us on a, off them yet. We just made the turn. That was, you know what? We were getting them earlier. Oh, get on that. Look at that. <laughs> you're on that. You're on that. Go ahead, fella. I get my hands are you're bleeding, up, buddy. You're up. <laughs> Come on. Nice fish. He just screamed. Like we this. cannot get. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't get the rods out. No. Big guy, buddy. A big guy. Wouldn't that be nice? On the rigger. On the rigger. 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 Get on that, Jeff. Holy mackerel. Okay, now what, boys? Keep your rod to the right, Ronnie. We'll be all right. I'm working on her, Forksy. I'm working on her. The right flavor, Jeff. Silver bass in the rigger. I think Ron's got a walleye. Yeah. Get that big eye in, Ronnie. Get that big eye in. We haven't seen it yet. Normally, if it's a wise guy or, or a steely, as, uh, as we call them here, they're going to be doing some kind of jumps or leaps. This thing, we haven't even seen this yet. So it's either a big eye or it's a lazy steely that's down in that, that's just pulling a uh, line down the bottom. Walleye. That's a nice walleye. Oh, big walleye, that's boys. A nice walleye. Finally, Brooksy. Yes. I was going to get you one, Ronnie. <laughs> I knew you big were, eye. baby. I knew you were. 
Oh, this is a giant bud. Not ready to come in yet. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Come on, get in there. Yeah! Yeah! Look at the size of this tank! <laughs> Very nice, Ron. Oh, it was so heavy. Hold on, bud. You hold that, cause. Oh, look. Hold on. We're in the camera. <laughs> Hang on, folks. We'll be right with you. <laughs> Two big eyes, bud. Giant. Look at the chunk on that, man. He's been eating, he's been eating good, oh, I'll tell you that look much. Look at the size of this one, bud. That's a fat fish. <laughs> Not as big as yours, but I ain't. It's the biggest one I got today. It's got a bigger gut, I'll tell you that much. Wow, that is just beautiful right there. He's a Rooksy, good job, bro. man, man. Chunky fish. I will drive down here every year. Every year for this for you. Well, you know what? <laughs> he told us. He gave us a call. He's like, I'm on him again. Do you want to come down? Because oh, I'm on him. Holy so, mackerel. You know what? I, 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 I urge you to give him a call. I guarantee you. You want to have a, a, a great fun day on the water here. And it, as long as you say you're with Fish TV, you're going to get calm weather. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> but you got to go to fishtv.tv to check it out. Yeah. All his info will be there. Let's get this in uh, the live well. Get out here, catch some fish with our good buddy Jeremy. So you know what we decided? We've had a great day. We're going to bring the rods in. Yeah. And I'm dragging a fish in behind the boat. I saw the rod pump in there. I got to tell you guys. You did not. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, I'm Leo Stockos. I'm Rod James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Thanks, Brooksy. Great job, buddy. Awesome Great day, job. Man. Awesome day. Thank you. Fish TV has been brought to you by Old Milwaukee. It doesn't get any better than this. Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. And your Ontario Toyota dealers. Real people, great cars.